everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're going to go to the Mushroom Kingdom and go see the Chancellor at once. Just to let him know the bad news. I haven't seen Princess, Tool, Pro Princess Toadstool lately. What? Bowser's got her again? Did I almost call her Princess Tool? Wow, that's a pretty sad thing to say. Mario! There you are! I'll tell the Chancellor you're here! I'll wait for you down the hallway. Okay, I want to jump on this guy's head at once and jump over here. Here you get a hidden frog coin and I think there's only one ch shot chance of getting it. Good luck trying getting it after the toad goes through the door. Yeah, there are hidden chests in the game. There are plenty around. You don't get anything special if you find them all, just the contents of the chest themselves. Just so you know. Sir! Mario has arrived! Hey, how's it going? Mario! Thank goodness you're here! We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud, I almost dropped my spores! What? Uh, excuse me? Where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? Oh yes! What the fuck? So apparently Mario is a shapeshifter or something? Spore's alive! You're telling us that Bowser has abducted the princess again? Never mind. It'll be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. Or if you fail, you can always look like the princess, seeing you how know, you do a pretty good job at it. You know, I wonder if Mario does his own stunts in movies. Maybe he can play as every single actor. That would save Hollywood a lot of money. You gad! The keep is unassailable? What awful powers at work here! Mario, her life is in your hands. Please, save our dear princess. Okay. Mario? This guy's an ass. Just wait for me to turn around and then say something. I almost forgot. This may not help you, but... Why don't you take it along? Yeah, since when does a map not help you at all? But Mario... Okay, now that's an asshole thing to do. You wait till I'm at the edge of the steps and then you say something. I hate people that do that. I mean, it's just like when you have company over and you finally sit down and then they say they want, want you to get them something. Like they wait till you sit down. And that's pretty much what this guy is right here. But I can't stop worrying about the princess. Please forgive me. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. Okay. Oh, finally I get some rewards after nearly killing myself on the stairs. Mario! The Chancellor has filled me in! Come, let me show you around. Okay. Help yourself to the treasures. Oh, there's a flower. There's a flower! The more you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Find them. Okay, I pretty much explained that before. Coins, small ones worth one, large ones are worth ten. Okay. And mushroom will store your hit points and flower points. Okay. That's why I tried to get the flower first and then the mushroom. That will I'll have like full flower points. It's better that way. The vault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. Yeah, because God forbid he do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Peach's room. Yep, Toadstool, Peach, doesn't matter. Call it whatever you want. Oh, I thought there'd be something hidden around here, but maybe you can only get it at a certain time. The princess hasn't returned yet! Can you imagine how the Chancellor must feel? Yeah, interrupting people when they're on the edge of the stairs. Yeah, that'll make anyone stressed out. Anyways... Come back here! What the... What's this? Okay, it's a crocodile wearing a hat and some kind of cream puff chasing it. Come back here! 
Yeah, it's your fault for having, like, stubby legs. Jump fail. Oh no! I reptile stole my grandpa's coin! <laughs> I can't cry. Big boys don't cry. But it's just not fair. What am I gonna do? Okay, so apparently this little cream puff has the ability to create rain every time he cries. Wow. Y yes? Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? That's what she said. I'm alright now. Sorry, there's nothing like a good cry. But why was I crying? There was some reason. Omar's like, what? My grandpa asked me to buy some things from here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. Yeah, might as well jump. Wow, he doesn't stand a chance. Well, you D, Mario. I know all about you. You got more jumping you than a box of frogs. I'm Mal from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch a filthy thief? Sure thing, and if you say I'm a little busy, then he's gonna get all pissed and start crying again. So I'll say sure thing. The young frog Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Alright, we got ourselves our first party member. Here's a little thing about party members. You see your flower points there, 13? Well, you and Mallow share the same pile of flower points. That means that Mario is the only one using special moves and he runs it down to zero, Mallow can't use any. Keep that in mind. I might as well show you Mallow's ability, Thunderbolt. You can hit Y just before Bolt ends, that allows you to use like more damage. Hey, at least it tells you like when to hit Y or A. You can use A as well. So I guess Princess Toad's already was kidnapped by Bowser, yes. Hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. All I do is cook and clean. <laughs> eh, that's how all marriages go. One, two, three! Think I practice enough, I'll jump aside as you, Mario? Yeah, right, kid. Thanks a bunch! Yeah, you'll bring him down and say, sure, watch what happens. Yay, that is how you kill brain cells. You just stand on his head for a long, long time. Once I heard of you to shake a beer can on top of his head, you can create a nuclear bomb. Yeah, let's go. Watch what happens with this woman. Apparently, she likes my jumping a bit too much. Way too much. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh, now look! I lost because of you. Apparently, this guy is very addicted to video games. Like, who plays video games all the time? Oh, wait. Yeah. We'll deal with him later, and then we'll get ourselves our own game. Let's go to the store. Hey, Mello! What kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this. You see... Wait, I've already heard. Old Fracus just told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. Listen! The truth of the matter is, well, um, the coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mario's on your team, you'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. Okay, I gotta pick me up that revise your party member whenever it faints. You love this job. Why? Anyways, let's just get some armor, like shirt and pants. Yeah, but you can't wear both at the same time. What kind of freak does that anyway? It's like Mario wears a shirt, but he doesn't wear any pants. And Mario, I mean Mallow is topless, yet he wears pants. And that's it. Can't have them both at the same time, I don't know why, but, oh well, that's how the game goes. I order you to stand before me. I now order you to jump. 
this tool over here. In this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna wait for this schmo over here to get to the right. So I can find another hidden chest. Oh, get over this way. There. Perfect. Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just give me time to grow into my mother's wedding dress. Ugh, good thing Mario ain't a pedophile. He wouldn't wait. And then you get right dizzy. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. Yep, she's gonna have a pretty shitty life. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. And by good time, it means running around in a square non-stop. Yep, that is how you have a good time. It's good to know kids these days rather run around in a square rather than go out and lose their virginity. Oh, wait. It's only in the Mushroom Kingdom. What a pity. Anyways... Mario! I have something to report, sir! I saw him! He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Oh, yes, exactly! He's the one who took my coin! Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh! Give me a break here. What the hell's he doing with a weapon? Back here. Gah! You mugs never catch me! A snail could outrun you, morons! Later! <laughs> it runs back to normal except Mario. That's him! Hurry, Mario! Let's get him! Wow, I wonder how Mario gets through life. I mean, clearly he just spins around all over the place. What's that toad doing with a bazooka, anyway? Like, what does he need it for? Anyways, let's go to Bandit's Way. There he is! He probably stashed it in that bag! Let's nab him! Are you trying to tell me? Go on home before you get hurt, kid. Oh, great. Oh, might as well go through a couple battles so I can show you Mallow's fighting skills. Okay, here's a new enemy here. This one's called Frogog. This one can take a fair amount of damage. So I'm gonna start with Thunderbolt right now. There we go, you wipe the floor out of these enemies. Okay, I think I'm going to save first. There. Oh, let's move on. Oh, there he is with that bag again. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid. So I guess this is a goodbye. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, it's on now. Okay, you can use these platforms here to get the coins. But I'm going to show you one battle with this new enemy. This one's called Canine. This one likes to bite you, because, well, it's a dog, what do you expect? Fangs is just basically an upgraded version of his physical attack. It does more damage. Or maybe that is his physical attack, I'm not 100% sure. Either way, you don't want to get bit. Whoops. There we go, and there's a hidden chest over here, go to the right, and you'll find a Caro Caro Cola. The Caro Caro Cola is basically a very powerful item. All members recover fully. So save it for later. It's way too early to use one. Oh, you're a persistent bugger! But I'm a hundred miles ahead of ya! Okay, I'm not gonna worry about these enemies. Don't worry about Croco, just keep running. So going to the left, I'm gonna go to the right. There, I got a mushroom. Oh, there's Croco again, riding these platforms. Having a hard time with them? Give it up already! That treasure box is tempting, but no, it's not the time. Oh, he didn't get the treasure chest, you know what that means. I'll have to get it. Fit foot, fit foot, no. Now you get a star. Basically, you just plow the shit out of enemies. And yes, you do get experience for each one you run into. Which means you can gain levels without even fighting. 
Oh, level three. I can learn Fire Orb. I'll put it on special. And Mallow goes to level three as well and learns HP Rain. Um, special as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video, but before I do, let me explain something. Remember when I said you still gain the same amount of experience even if you die? Well, the thing is that if you use a star and then you die before saving, you get the same amount of experience, but the star will not be selected. You can go back, get another star, get even more experience, and repeat until you're done level grinding. It'll save you a lot of time, trust me on this one. Anyway, stay tuned for part three.